Hi, it's Nikisha Lovelace. Hope all is well with you at this moment. Welcome to another window message. Be sure to seek, accept, and obey our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, who was on the third day, defeated death just like we will, live eternal life with him in heaven. Isaiah 53. And yes, you will hear some out, outside noise. Because <laughs> this is a window message. Isaiah 53. Every time I'm brought to this, I feel like crying. My men, my people. Because it's about Jesus dying for us. All right, Isaiah 53 from the NIV Bible. Who has to... <laughs> oh, let me slow down. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shears is silent so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. Yet, who of our... I can't, y'all. My God. Yet, who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people, he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death, and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. <sighs> I did my best to read this one, y'all. <laughs> my God, my God. Jesus, he was a sin offering. 
the ultimate sin offering. He died for us. He died for us, for our sins, people. We must acknowledge that. We must understand it. We must not take his love for granted. The pain he went through for us. The humiliation he went through for us. If you feel humiliated because of Jesus. If you feel mocked and ridiculed because of Jesus. If you're going through suffering because of Jesus. Rejoice. Because he went through it first. And he did it for us. And he did not sin not once. We have sinned. And we continue to sin. So let's seek the Lord daily and rejoice and be glad that we are here. No matter what you're going through. Push through. The Lord will give you strength to carry on. You ask Him for protection. You ask Him for daily guidance. He loves you. And you are winning. Because you're on the winning team. Because you chose life over death. Continue to surrender to Jesus every single day. And be guided by Him. Stay focused. And remember his promises. You are headed to eternal life. So it doesn't matter the torment you go through on earth. You're headed to eternal life. Instead of eternal torment. Go back and read Isaiah 53 for yourself and take it all in and understand it. Understand what God has done for us. God bless you all. Take care. Until next time.